This is the one we've been waiting for. This oh, is yeah. it. Yeah, everything is just awesome. We can run through the uh, the chalk, the, the, again, the uh, Jim Root, Mick Thompson, or Alessandro Venturella uh, effects here for the chalk skin, but you get a lot of, you get a lot of good stuff coming from all of these. Uh, I didn't even know that we, could, we had them ready to go in game, so I would have gotten here oh. earlier. I apologize, everybody. Oh my gosh, that's been insane. It's got the, the flames on the guitar itself. That is so sick. Yeah, <laughs> the, and the I love the, the Slipknot <laughs> symbolism and all the abilities looks yep. really cool. And it fits Smite so well. Yep, it really does. It definitely uh, fits in with the, with the general motifs, but bringing that extra spin to it. Uh, and then there's the ultimate, which oh, just man. looks absolutely awesome. And it sounds awesome, too. They have such a unique artistic style to you know, everything they do, out, even in, outside their music, that right. I, I think is really a, a video game developers and players really appreciate that attention to detail and consistency in your symbolism and your tone and just staying true to yourself and your fans. And it's, it looks great here. Yeah, the like, stage breaking apart on this ultimate is so cool. Chalk Alt is just one of my favorite ultimate game, but it, th these skins definitely take it to the next level. Uh, no doubt about that. Um, and I, uh, oh yeah, I already mentioned that you get the VXG with the head banging. Can we? Uh, oh yeah. Well, he's. Oh, he, we're getting. We're getting the. the yeah, we get the. We get the front cool. end here. This is Alessandro's skin. Uh, oh, I didn't notice the stuff on the on the neck of the base there for for the skin. You know, you get some little markings down the neck. That's very cool. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Putting in those dev commands uh, on the fly is, is harder than it looks. I swear, whenever like Clumsy or Lurmy is like watching me do it, I like <laughs> it takes yeah. me twice as long. I'm like, why am I messing up so much? Clown Raijin, oh. these these effects are, are just every basic flawless. attack has the symbol. Yep. Oh, and the passive lights have the drums as well. That's oh. so cool. That is that is really sick. And again, all of the um, all of the different Raijin skins can have some different sound effects. There's the maggot as the uh, Raiju as the maggot jumping from one and to the, the other. That the icon, nice, looking awesome. So yeah, uh, Clown and Michael Faff's drum sounds are, are tuned to sound like their percussion instruments, but Jay Weinberg's drums are going to sound more like a traditional drum set. So that's a, a really cool little attention to detail that you got to play a couple Raijin games. Oh, the, oh, oh, that's sick. Oh, the different colors. Oh, bye, Odin. We'll see you later, bud. No. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to stop oh, him. Got him. Nice save. <laughs> nice save, Clumsy. He's good at this game. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. I cannot wait to be playing Raijin in mid. You know, so it's, a, it's an art form that is ancient and yep. still extremely moving and impactful, and it's just awesome to have that represented in Smite. And here, of course, is the Corey Taylor Poseidon skin. Um, as we went over with the Poseidon skins, depending on which one you choose, you'll have some different sound effects alongside your abilities. With Corey's, it's going to have the crowd and vocal elements. With Sid Wilson, it'll have the turntable. And Craig Jones will have those samples that the, all these members are, are so known I, I, for. I can't wait to hear the crowd cheer as I miss a Kraken. <laughs> yeah. That's no, or, 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 hit, or hit a Kraken. I'm sorry. That's it's right. just like being on the world stage. You know, you miss your Kraken and some people Poseidon cheer. Poseidon is one of those gods that even though I've practiced for quite a while, I still don't feel like I ever get that good with him. And I do consider myself a good mage player, but I, I struggle a little bit with Poseidon. I don't know. It's just me. Yeah. It's not him. Poseidon is a great god. Dude, the oil barrel. So, uh... That is a so cool. beer barrel, I think. Oh, believe, beer barrel. Oh, at a specific me. request, <laughs> working with the band to you know, make sure we, we, we showed off some uh, side of them, you know, just as, as humans too, right? You know, they're right. just, you know, they're hardworking humans that make awesome music, but then they, you know, they kick back and chill after hours too, and they have a good time, uh, both when they're on work and off work. Yeah, that is really great. I mean, these guys are absolute rock legends, but also, just dudes who have worked hard to get there. So, yeah, and they really have, you know, for so many years. And uh, you know, uh, there was a recent post that was getting popular again, showing them an initial performance on like late night Conan. I watched way that, back yeah. in the day, which was awesome. Yeah. And like people were all being really uh, happy to see such a, a unique music being featured on something like that. You right, know, a late night show. That was a big deal. Yeah, it was a big deal, and just seeing how far they've come and how they've evolved their live shows to be, you know such an amazing experience. And really, that's the only way you can describe it. It's a whole experience.